the Maltese Falcon, the African Queen, the treasure of the Sierra Madre, some of the most successful and best-loved motion pictures ever made. They are part of the varied screen language of John Huston. And yet, different as each film is, the spark imparted by this director is obvious. Most importantly, he provokes the audience into remembering the vivid moments in each of his movies. The man shows style in the adventures he films, in the uncommon locations, and the people he works with. Like Paul Newman in his latest motion picture. Where are you from? You know bloody well where I'm from. Who are you? Joseph Reason. Now in London, at the start of this film, he is joined by Paul Newman. A film set becomes more active with the brand of excitement these two people generate. Houston uses his eye for faces and places, choosing London's Leather Lane as a location. The street market has a one-of-a-kind atmosphere where the company will begin to film Paul Newman as the mysterious Joseph Reardon. With Dominique Sanda as his companion, they will begin a new variation on the theme of espionage called the Macintosh Man. I'll have a look, sir. What's the name? No need for that. Familiar and unfamiliar places of the city are used as backgrounds. In this underground station beneath the Bank of England, Newman goes through a costume change to throw off his pursuers. In all of Houston's work, the audience is kept in suspense with twists of plot that are only unraveled later. In Pinewood Studios, just outside London, the work continues. They couldn't film in the famous Old Bailey courtroom, so Houston built a faithfully accurate reproduction with added advantages of height for lighting and camera placement. How would your firm account for the robbery in Leather Lane? Quite simply, the thief had inside information. Joseph Reardon, I sentence you to 20 years imprisonment. The company moves 1,300 miles to the south. Houston has made films all over the world. This time, he's elected to unfold his story on this jewel of the Mediterranean, the island of Malta. There's a marina that fronts Valletta, the capital of Malta. And this is where the luxury yacht Artina comes to dock. In this setting, some citizens of the island will serve as extras in a scene, joining the company and James Mason. His involvement with Dominique Sanda will force Newman to make a dangerous move. The critical moment is worked out in front of Valletta's police headquarters. Houston and Newman have collaborated before, and the actor takes advantage of the easy communication between them. Richard. I want to see the commissioner. Go upstairs to your right and ask for Sub-Inspector Dunn. I have information as to the whereabouts of Ronald Slade. 
What is the source of your information? How, how are you connected with this man? Let me answer those questions later. Who are you? I am a British intelligence officer, incognito. My passport is false. I have no proof of my real identity. You're not, perhaps, out of your mind. My name is Joseph Reardon. Also wanted in England. Slade and I escaped Chelmsford together. Get my file from Interpol. Another strange moment in Reardon's escapade takes place in this house in Ireland. He is in the hands of an organization of spies called the Scarperers, and he must escape. John Houston lives here in Ireland, not far from where the film continues to take shape. These boggy Irish moors stretch for miles until they reach Galway Bay. Houston knows these parts very well and what they can add to the high drama of a man on the run. At the very tip of Galway Bay is the tiny fishing village of Roundstones Harbor. The entire town turns out to watch as Houston films the start of a dangerous high-speed chase along narrow, slippery Irish back roads. You always drive like this? Only when we're being followed. Houston's shooting schedule is no rest cure. But that has never discouraged actors. He takes them next to the Liverpool prison. Here, he and Paul Newman will record one of the most difficult scenes in the movie. They'll stage a prison riot as a cover for Joseph Reardon's escape. In the past four decades, John Huston has worked with most of the film industry's mythology. People like Bogart, Brando, Gable, Hepburn, Monroe, Taylor, Newman. Everyone wants to work with him. They like his style. It shows while he and Paul Newman are making The Macintosh Man. <laughs> 